I'm glad to get the opportunity to speak on this very important uh, motion here this morning, and I want to thank uh, Deputy Michael Collins for already highlighting this very attractive proposal, uh, which is to utilise the Barry Row oil and gas field off the south coast of Cork. It is understood that 365 million barrels of oil and gas are deposited here, and deeper exploration could unearth much more. At a time when the country is struggling to survive because of massive increased costs for oil and gas, and it should surely be helpful if we could access even some of this from our own oil and gas fields in Barry Row. Moreover, as the Kinsale field is exhausted and the Corrib field deposits of gas are waning quickly. It is vital that we utilise Barry Row and indeed resume drilling for gas off the west coast of Kerry, which he stopped, as we will need gas and oil for at least 40 more years. We should strive to be as self-sufficient as possible and use our own jurisdiction to the maximum. Because the further away you import oil and gas from, and that is if we'll be able to get it, the greater the carbon footprint. I also believe that the closure of Bordemona in the Midlands and stopping the generation of electricity in Lanesboro and Shannon Bridge was short-sighted. And we all know since the generating, these generating stations were closed, the cost of electricity has gone up dearly. The government should reverse this decision and utilize every bit of turf we have in the country. Turf kept this country going uh, during the last uh, the Second World War. Shannon LNG should also get the license to import gas sources like, uh, for, from Western sources like the USA and other countries that we would be minded to, to sell gas to. Uh, uh, also, uh, we won't get the country one cent, uh, uh, this won't cost the country one cent as this company has spent several million so far and, and will fund the operation totally themselves. As a, a reliable energy source with low emissions, gas must remain, remain part of the energy mix. And with uh, the, the trouble caused by uh, Putin and Russia, and the problems that we have in, in the UK, we surely need gas from, from a, a reliable source and, and need another source uh, now and, and, and ensure the future of energy security uh, and, and economic prosperity. Look, I, I can't understand it. Cork is lucky to have the T-shirt at the present time and two senior ministries. And the government are acting recklessly by not listening to this proposal uh, with, uh, uh, by providing energy of their county that they are representing. They are representing the country also, and, and the country depends on energy security and exposing the country, continuing to expose the country to global oil increases and raking in millions, millions of euro in every kind of tax thing. Uh, it, this, this is all reckless behaviour, Minister. Tishik Mihal Martin promised the, the, the people of North Kerry when canvassing with Norma Foley in the, in the 2020 general election that he would ensure Shannon LNG got over the line. Now his government, he has allowed his government minister, Ryan, to make submissions against this proposal. This is, this is also reckless. Families who need cars to go to work, we have to be realistic. There, there is no other options for people living in rural Ireland. They need cars to go to work to take their children to school, uh, and they're struggling, and, they're, and, and uh, the, many families are, are, are in, 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 in serious uh, jeopardy. Uh, lorry transport running costs have doubled, diesel oil, tyres, all along the road, coming up yesterday, t uh, uh, or the day before yesterday, Tishuk, our uh, minister, 210 for diesel, 220 for petrol. Farmers and contractors are paying 160 a litre uh, for green diesel. They're under immense pressure, and he's doing nothing to help them. He could take less tax, but he, he don't want to do that. 
private bus operators, school, school uh, transporting children to school. Minister, you are not doing enough to at least uh, forego the extra tax, carbon and excess VAT that you are clawing back now. Um, I want to highlight here your senior minister, Ryan, on the 19th of May, he addressed the Shannon on energy and said, uh, and said that we have never found oil in commercial quantities. All the likely sites are in very deep and distant waters. This is incorrect. That's incorrect. We just do not have a lot of oil and gas reserves. That's what Minister Ryan has said. That's incorrect. Minister, these statements are not correct, and I believe that I, 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 I can't understand why, why he made this. And, and uh, it, it surely shows to me that his, assumption, that, that his fundamental lack of knowledge on this very important matter, the, 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 the Barry Moore discovery is in 100 metres of water, 50 kilometres offshore, and is regarded as the largest undeveloped hydrocarbon field in Europe. The accepted industrial reserve projections indicate 365 million barrels of equivalent oil and gas resources in that field. Minister, I, I'm, I'm asking your minister to correct the record, because he has been he has, he has mis misled the, the, the houses of the doctors.